Uh, you know, I, we can't say they're not good enough. Walker has, has been first choice for England for years. You can't say in this system probably is a fair comment. The problem is 50 million for Mendy, 50 million for Walker, 50 million for Stones, 60 million for Cancelo. Now Ruben Diaz, another talked about 55 million. Like, it, if you're going to pay 50 million for, for defenders, you have to agree with what Gary's saying. You've got to defend better than that. But for me, the Man City defenders are just... The, the reactive instead of proactive, the thinking, you know, Pep said there, that let's go get the next goal. All of them are thinking about going forward rather than just holding your position. You're getting lower and lower in that chair, Micah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm low. I'm real low, to be honest. But Man City, for me, have just become a possession-based team. The first half, what was it, 73% yes. possession they had? But a lot of the passes that they had... Everyone talks about Rodri. Um, for me, he's, he's, you know, his past completion is, is very good. But a lot of the balls that he plays are just five yards in front to the side, getting a lot of possession, but it's not hurting him. As soon as Fernandinho went off that pitch today, I don't know if he's picked up an injury. I don't know if they just wanted to change the system and put a striker up there, but I knew that would happen. You know, without but is, is Rodri the reason why they lost this game? I'm, I'm and not, I'm not five blaming goals. it just on Rodri. Of course not. There was loads of bad performances in, in, in there. But we did it on Monday Night Football with Jamie Carragher. In that middle, by himself, the way he turns, he doesn't re danger like Fernandinho. And the back line get exposed. And it happened time and time and time again. I don't know how many times it happens to City before they have to rectify it. Everyone talked about the defence. Of course the defence... There's a shambles today, from being totally honest. To concede five goals here, it really is embarrassing. But it's more to it than that. In that midfield area, they're too easy to play against. The weak, too weak. You say they were, they were, they were holding on, or they were, you know, weathered the storm. They didn't have a storm to weather. I thought, yeah, they conceded a lot of ground to them, but they always looked comfortable when they were they defending. They defended on that back line, didn't they? On yeah, the 18-yard box in that first half. City had five shots on target in the whole 90 minutes. You know, that's not a busy Schmeichel. This is Man City we're talking about, who normally pepped the opposition, opposition goal with shots and headers. Um, Schmeichel, I can't remember making a save. It was a wonder goal by Mares. But early part of the game, you know you're going to have to give up ground to this, to this City team. So you sit back and you remain organised. And I thought they did that brilliantly well. You know, Son Chu, Amarte, we, we know what Johnny Evans is. And the young boys... At, um, Justin, James Justin. James Justin and Castagna on, on either side. I like the sensational. You know, young men learning their trade. And they look so organised and they managed to keep City at arm's length. And then, as he said, as um, Jamie Vardy said, once they, they break that first press and you get at them, you've got a real chance of hurting them. And that's how it panned out. And I think City in the end have shot themselves in the foot with the penalties they gave away. But you have to say, looking at it, City were a shadow of the team that we've seen over the last few years, missing the fox in the box, missing that cute, that, that cuteness that Aguero brings to the game. I don't think Jesus gives him, is it the brilliant Brazilian boy? The other Jesus. Jesus gives him, I don't think he gives him that cuteness. Aguero, Aguero certainly just, and I thought City huffed and puffed for the majority of that game today, even though they got off to a great start with a wonder goal. But Leicester, throughout the game, were disciplined, organised, they knew what they had to do. Jimmy Vardy touched on, he was doing his bit defensively today, you know, when he was when he was having to go back to his own goal, he just put himself in the area of Rodri. So that ball going wide, it couldn't come back into him to change. And they frustrated the life out of City. And anyone playing City in the next few weeks, that's a blueprint. So where we've got to with this, we've seen uh, 20 penalties so far in 25 games. At this rate, we're going to have over... 300 penalties <laughs> this season. Not all because of the handball. We've seen other penalties given here today. Where do you stand on this right now, Micah? You know where I stand on it. I think it's an absolute That's why I've shambles. Asked you. <laughs> it's an absolute disgrace. It's, it's spoiling football. Don't know if the, it's the, uh, the rules, uh, the VAR, or just the refs. I, don't, I, well, I think it's, I think it's a combination of all it? of them. And for me, it's just spoiling football. I know a lot of people want to see. Uh, Graham made a good point earlier. A lot of people want to see more goals, but how are you supposed to defend if you give some of these decisions? It's, it's making it impossible for defenders to defend. So, for me, yeah, I, I don't like it at all. The, the, all three penalties and the point I've made, the striker's got the ball. He said, I'm going to get across the defender 
and, and he has to make a decision then, does he let me go or bring me down? Because the slightest contact, the strikers go down to the end and guaranteed a penalty. So it's, it's cute and clever play by the strikers. And a couple of occasions, it's clumsy play by the defenders. But I, I'm, you know, Mika's upset because of City didn't do this and City didn't do that. But I think we're taking so much away from Leicester's performance today. They came here, had a game plan, executed it to perfection. And it wasn't as if, as some people said, I like you included, they were weathering the storm. I didn't see it as a storm. I saw them, they were well in control of their situation. They were playing a game plan. They must have been, you know, OK, conceding until one to goal. That can happen to any team, no matter how well you're playing. But they kept their concentration, and that was very impressive. They kept their concentration and got themselves back into the game slowly but surely. And that is like the, that's like a big European night where you go to a big team and you defend, know you're going to have to defend and wait for your opportunity and you end up getting the away goal. That was, that was like a perfect away game for Leicester today. Played it perfectly. I, I don't think anybody else did say it. I think it was just me. So I'll, well, I'll absolutely okay. take the blame for that. <laughs> Got it completely wrong. <laughs> I fancied Liverpool retain it. When you try and apply logic to football, it comes back to bite you. It can embarrass you. But I'll, I'll try and introduce some logic to the the argument or the discussion. Liverpool won it by 18 points last year. Liverpool, in my opinion, have strengthened big time. So that makes them even stronger. I look at City right now, whether Diaz comes or anyone else comes, I tell you, they're going to have to be more than just Diaz comes to take City from 18, 18 points behind Liverpool to get in front of them. If you are accepting, and I think we all accept people in football, to a man, I think would accept Liverpool are stronger today than they were 12 months ago. And that, that's you know, music to my ears, obviously. But I think that's a marker when you look at where City, what City have shown already, what the other possible challengers. You're saying that of all the teams you've seen that might challenge them, it's Leicester after today. But I have to say there is a caveat. We all get carried away, and this is our job to pass comment and make observations. Three games in, Dave. You know, three games in. Some players need five and six games to get fully fit and up to speed. But right now, I think Liverpool, again, could run away with it again.